Okay, we're starting the test. I'll be right over here. Got the samples. These are psychoemotional patterns. Here, we've got vitamins and minerals, more vitamins, amino acids, and foods. Just scanning to see if there's something that's interfering with the healing process. Okay, that's clear. And then we have nosodes. There's something here. It's a nosode glioblastoma D60. So it's just a cell memory of past stress in the nervous system. But we're going to make sure we balance that. The miasms were clear. Was it homey or iso? Romeo. <coughs> Checking the eye segments and frequencies and the nests, infraceuticals, which relate to epigenetic patterns, color frequencies. That's all clear. Very good. There's usually some stuff there, but and these are some heavy metals and limes related nosodes. So 20, the score, biological score index is 21 times 1, and that's the liver, it's the highest stress level, or toxicity level. And then <coughs> good regulation, phase 2 terrain in the liver. There's something, that's aluminum. <coughs> the kidney. And this is pyloric valve between the stomach and small intestine. This is the thymus, immune system, regulates inflammation, liver meridian and lung meridian. Where's the smooth? Okay. The first source of stress, first layer, is the terrain, phase two terrain, which can be bacterial, parasite, generally, in any case, enzymes can be uh, more rapid aging. That's the head and tail of the causal chain. So, looking for a remedy for phase two terrain. Phase two balancing. Might need a combination. I took all the powders in the other room to take photographs. Okay. Do you want me to get them? Uh, no, there's still most of them have more here. Okay. I think there's something in here. So it's a combination, part of it is brain cleanse. And it feels like something down here. Vitamin E spectrum along with the brain cleanse. That's gonna help reduce scar tissue and it's gonna be cleansing the brain while you sleep, better sleep. And just one a day of the E. That starts dropping the score. That doesn't, we don't have to record that. Balances the phase two. We'll see if it balances anything else. It's balancing the pyloric valve. It's balancing the thymus. It's balancing, balancing both meridians, lung and liver. And we were clear here. We had one noso still up. That's, those are often deeper, especially the cell memory. It's an old pattern. So we're looking for the next causal chain. It's kidney. Stress coming from the kidney. Most affected is not the kidney. 
uh, affecting the NOSO, which is the nervous system. In oriental medicine, the kidneys govern the nervous system, so that's uh, totally makes sense in that oriental medicine view. We're balancing the kidney. I'm going to check in the refrigerator for the flora types of things, because that's most often what balances that. Uh, it's a uh, neuromega to to a day of neuromega, which is anti-inflammatory. Also, kidneys don't like inflammation because they're tightly wrapped. So if they swell, it puts the pressure back on the uh, circulation in the kidneys and the fluid flows, and that doesn't work well. That's also balancing the heavy metal, aluminum, which we are exposed to a lot more aluminum than the other heavy metals, but it follows the same channels of elimination. So it's, it's not that it's so toxic, but it's a marker for having difficulty moving heavy metals. And when there's a, a bone break, that the body has to reform that, so it's dissolving and moving the, the, the bone material, and heavy metals store in the bones, so there's often a relationship there. So liver is still active. Did the nosode balance on that layer? I'm checking that right now. Yes, it did. Great. So just liver. Is that all you have? Yes. Yeah. And that's the head and tail. So we're going to look for a balancer for the liver. Sammy Synergy, one a day. And that's also going to help with cartilage repair if, uh, if there's damage to the cartilage in the ankle. Uh, I understand the bone is broken, probably some injury to the cartilage as well. So that's going to be helpful there and helpful for reducing pain with, with the, that kind of trauma. Usually kicks in in a couple of weeks to really speed up the healing. And that's about, and it's also great for liver, like uh, even uh, hepatitis and things. There's studies where SAMI is very helpful in, in turning around chronic liver issues. It's also mood elevating and helps reverse hardening of the arteries and lots of other benefits with the energy. So anything for the bone itself? Yeah, so that's the next question is as far as clinically, we've got bone that needs, we want to speed the healing. Yeah, n now if I check bone, it does test as a stress. It wasn't showing on the surface, but now that we've got the body balanced, the body can say, you know, we're all doing pretty good, but hey, it would sure be nice to help out that ankle. So we'll check on bone builder or a combination. Bone builder plus not with Endocrine Restore, sub sublingual seven keto is the other one that you know, will uh, help along with the bone builder to uh, speed up the bone healing and reduce inflammation too. So just one a day of bone builder should be good. And one scoop, up to one scoop. You, it, you could even do half a scoop. It, this will last for a couple months even at one scoop, but uh, can intuitively dose that. Hold it under the tongue as long as you can because any absorption under the tongue goes straight to the whole body to the systemic circulation, or whatever you swallow, it's gonna still work, but about 80% of it will, will get broken down in the liver before it gets to the body. So that little bit under the tongue is a good thing. I've been working on the, the flavor of that, and it'll be pretty good now. All right, that's, that all feels good. So, uh, you, any questions? Uh, just put them in the in the portal, and we'll we'll go ahead and answer them there. Aloha, and heal Aloha. fast. <laughs> mm -hmm. Aloha.